Welcome to my home friends and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. If you're new, I'm Katie and I love sharing super motivating, satisfying, get it all done lifestyle and homemaking style videos. Today I wanted to take you guys along a typical stay at home mom day and some things that I do when I'm spending more time at home and not necessarily out running all kinds of errands. This day I did have a birthday lunch with my mom so that's why I got up and got ready. So I'm going to do a few things this morning now that I'm ready for the day before I head out the door for lunch and then I'll go have lunch with my mom and then I'll come back and get some more things done. But thank you so much again for being here with me today and I hope that I'm able to help you feel motivated. As a stay-at-home mom, I definitely take on the majority of the chores inside of the home. My kids are now getting to an age where I make them help, so they try to dive in and help with the extra things around the house, like bringing down their laundry baskets and unloading the dishwasher and things like that. But they are probably, for the most part, more in charge for like their bathroom and bedrooms and their play area. And then everything else they do is just kind of extra. But these are things that I typically do on my own on a daily basis. Laundry gets done every day, dishes get done every day. Um, just little things around the house, even though they may not always look the same. I'm always doing things around the house. A little bit every day can really, really add up. I wanted to say thank you so much for all the birthday love that I received here in my community tab, in my comments, and over on my Instagram. It's just, you all know how to make a, a girl feel so special. So thank you for taking time out of your day to wish me a happy birthday. I had a wonderful day. We kind of just hung out at home, took it slow. I went and got my free Starbucks coffee and then came home and hung out for a bit. And then we had talked about getting a new car in the next coming months. So I actually scheduled a test drive. Um, I'm looking at the Tesla Model 3 Long Range. Let me know if you guys own one. I've been doing the deep dive, doing a ton of research, but I just don't wanna go out and like impulse buy or make an uneducated buy. Um, so I've just been doing a lot of research and it kind of came time to actually pull the trigger and go test drive one to even see if I liked it in person and just see how it felt, how it drove. And then later that night, we ended up going to sushi with some family and that was it. It was a nice laid back birthday, just how I like it. Um, I'm 37 now, I don't need to go out and party, even though going out with your friends is a ton of fun. I just noticed I'm just kind of liking the slower pace 
life these days. So I hope you guys are also loving the vibe of this video. Kind of slower pace, not as much voiceover. So I hope you guys are enjoying. is for my plant mamas out there. How am I doing keeping my pothos alive? I'm gonna soak him for a little while. It's been about a week, 10 days since I've soaked him last. But I noticed this has a little bit of discoloration on the bottom of this leaf. Is this bad? Is this normal? I don't know. I mean, I think he looks good. I'll have to show you guys our new plant. I don't know what he is. I need to look, but my boys named him Jeremy. He's in the homeschool space. Also, I think I bought it with yellow on it. You guys will have to let me know. How am I doing? Do the leaves look okay? Is he shiny enough? We need to name him. My boys were saying like Bob and Kevin, but I was like, oh, he's too cute. So. Hopefully I don't kill him. My husband and my boys got me this beautiful blown glass hummingbird feeder for my birthday. And I was so happy when I unwrapped this. I know it's such like a simple, humble gift but I feel like I'm kind of to the age, if I want something, I kind of go get it. So the fact that they took such a small detail and remembered the time that I mentioned that I wanted to hang one of these in the yard for the hummingbirds back there. We have a ton of blooms in our yard right now, so the birds are just so fun to watch. So the fact that they remembered that I had talked about wanting one of these was just so special. So I wanted to show this to you all and take you out back so we can get this hung. And we have had a few hummingbird sightings already.
So this was about an hour or two later. I let my pothos soak in here and it seems very happy. Um, I'm very pleased um, with how it looks, but then again, I'm very new to plants and I actually think I wanna get a couple more. Um, so be prepared to see a few new plants around the house. I think they just bring so much life and color to a space. But we're gonna go ahead and put this plant back. We really need to come up with a name and I still need to introduce you guys to Jeremy, my boy's plant that we put up in the homeschool room. So we're gonna set this back up and then I need to go ahead and tidy up the family room area. I wanted to ask you all what style videos you guys have been really into. Maybe you're new here. Where did you find my channel from? I've been really enjoying not like the two like super slow videos, but just more of like a vibey chill kind of vibe and getting things done around the house. Still super motivating, but realistic. Um, cleaning up the messes, getting organized, decorating, cooking. I filmed a recipe that's super vibey and chill for you guys, and I should have that in an upcoming video. Um, I went to an antique store, we got iced coffees, I went to lunch, and then came home and ended up pouring a glass of wine and then cooking a really good meal. So those are the videos that I'm really leaning towards, but if I'm being honest, um, I'm gonna be very vulnerable here. YouTube has definitely been a struggle with me since the beginning of this year. I had a video take off for Christmas and ever since that happened, my channel has just completely like something happened. It's just come to a complete stop. I'm not seeing the views I used to get. I'm not getting the growth that I used to get and I've just been mentally struggling. So to hear you guys down in the comments, let me know what you guys like. Um, what you guys like to see of course i'm going to have halloween and fall and christmas content coming up but i want to be able to let people enjoy my channel year round and not just for christmas so i would love if you guys could let me know down in the comments if you guys are new here where you found my channel maybe you were watching something else and this came up as a suggested video maybe it came up next after you were done watching something else or maybe I popped up on your home screen when you opened YouTube, or maybe you've been subscribed for a really long time. I know I have a ton of loyal subscribers in here. So it would just be very helpful to me as a creator to kind of know what you guys want to see, how long you've been here, and where you popped over from. So this is day two. I had to actually stop filming the day prior to this because I had to take my son to jujitsu class. But this is the next day and I was out of so much, you guys. I had to get to the store. So I did a quick Target run and picked up a bunch of groceries. So I'm not gonna put a whole lot of ton into this haul. I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory, but I picked up a lot of snacks, some things that we were out of, lots of produce, stuff for dinners and lunches, easy breakfast, 
Um, but I'm gonna let you guys enjoy this really quick little overview and then I decided today was the perfect day to wipe down the fridge while I put away these fresh groceries and just throw out anything that was expired and wipe down the empty shelves before I put in the fresh groceries. I had thought about doing a whole separate video of doing like a huge fridge clean out and then I was looking at my fridge and honestly it just wasn't worthy of its own video. Now don't get me wrong my fridge definitely can stand to be cleaned out but I don't know if it needs to stand out and be its own video. So that's why I decided to go ahead and just put it in this one. So if you guys need to also wipe down your fridge maybe it's not terrible. You just need to kind of go through, throw things away that have expired or have gone bad, and then wipe everything down. I feel like things get sticky so quickly. Um, this is your reminder to go in and get it done. This maybe took me a whole 15, 20 minutes, and I got it completely gone through, wiped down, and restocked with fresh food.
Thank you so much for being here. I'm gonna go ahead and get this video uploaded for you all. So thank you so much for hanging out. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to like and subscribe before you leave. I would love to have you. I have so many fun videos coming up, especially getting into the next couple of months. We're gonna start talking fall and Halloween and Christmas. So I hope you guys will stick around for that. Make sure you go follow me over on Instagram. You guys get a lot more behind the scenes over there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye friends.